I'm on. I'm on. Uh, just a minute, please. Uh, uh, you need ma'am, police or I'm ambulance sorry. there? Yes, ma'am. This is serious. Okay. Do you need police or an ambulance? Would you shut up and listen to me for a second? I, I'm trying to get you on my speakerphone so I can hear you. Uh, and yes, ma'am, this is serious. Okay. Oh, stupid phone. Uh, ma'am, I will call you back. Do you need the police sure. or an ambulance there? Yeah, 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 yeah. I will call you back. What is your name? Nine one one. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Hi, can I help you? My name is Charles Hendricks Foster, and uh, I am about ready to kill my wife. What's your this address? This is not a joke. Shut up and listen to me. Okay, first I need your address, and then I'll shut up. Shut up and listen. Oh, I'm not kidding, ma'am. I deserve to go to jail for murder. I want to kill her. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I'm sorry. I can't hear you. Oh. Tell me your name again. Pardon me, ma'am? Your name? Oh, my name is... How stupid can you people get? My name is Charles Hendricks Foster. How do you spell your name? I'm giving you my name. You want my address? Yeah. Five six zero one apartment Ferndale, Washington. What street? You have that? I you you have send a cop out here right now. Please. Okay. I want her? to hurt this woman real bad. What's her name? Pardon me, ma'am? Yes. Uh, whatever. Come on, lady. Hey, at least talk to me. I'm trying to help you, but I, I'm i having a hard time hearing everything that you're saying. Your phone has kind uh, of a, Your phone has kind of an echo. Have you been ringing? Your phone has an echo. Have you been ringing? Oh, my ringing? phone has an echo. Yeah, have you been well, drinking or using any? Well, nothing about that. Okay, have you been yeah, drinking or using phone. any drugs? Okay, what would you like me to do? I Answer the question. Have you been drinking or using any drugs? No. Okay, where is your wife right now? She's sitting right next to me. Okay, what's her name? Of course. Have you done anything to physically hurt her yet? Yes, ma'am, I have. What have you done? I punched her in the face because I really want to kill her right now because she's a thing drunk. Okay. No, we have not been drinking. We have not done anything. She just... Uh, I'm crazy. Whatever you want to call it, I'm crazy. I don't care. I want her dead. You understand that, ma'am? I do. I'm getting you I help. I her dead. I understand, and I'm getting you help. Do you have any weapons in your home? Pardon me, ma'am? Do you have any weapons in your home? Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm having trouble understanding you. Okay. Do I have a gun in my home? Like a gun? Uh, you know what? Just send a f***ing cop out okay, here I and let it go sir? like that. Bye-bye. Uh, bye. Hey, sir. Huh? Hi. It's 911. Hello. Hi, it's 911. You disconnected and I just wanted to talk. Uh, I I'm sorry. I'm having trouble understanding you. Okay. Just hang on. Okay. 
Uh, are you with the police department? I work at the 911 center. Oh, good. Okay. Send a cop out here before I tell my wife. Okay, I don't want you to do that. So I want to, uh, is there any way that you can go outside to wait for police? Oh, uh, I don't have time for games. Just send nope. a police Listen. officer or two out here because I'm really pissed off at my wife. Okay. And I want to hurt her. Sir? No. Do I, you understand my request? I understand, and you listen to me now, okay? I'm sending police, talking to me. The police are on their way. Oh, good. Okay? And when you talk, sir, uh, I have I have questions to ask you. Does anyone there need an ambulance? Okay, what do you want to know? Does anyone there need an ambulance? Pardon me? Do you need an ambulance? I don't know what you're saying, ma'am. Medics? Do you need medics? It's very simple. It's very simple. Okay. Listen to me very carefully. Will you, sir, will you go outside and talk to the police there? I'm listening to you. I want to hurt my wife. I don't want to hurt anybody else. Okay, will you go outside to talk to the police, please? Listen to me. All I want is an officer or two, whatever it takes, to come down here to my apartment, my address, and arrest me. Me. I know. My wife. But shut up and listen. I just want to be away from this woman. Yeah. So, I heard what you said. You understand that now? Yes. I want for you to go outside to talk to the police so then you can accomplish your goals. Bye. Bye. Essex Police Emergency. Hi there. Um, okay. Uh, hello. Um, I need police and a forensic team to my address, please. What do you mean? What's happened? My friend and I got into an altercation and I'm the only one who came out alive. Are you telling me you've killed somebody? Yes, I am. Right, and who am I speaking to? My name is Lewis Baines, I'm 18 years old and I live... Right, okay. And what's actually happened? My friend came to stay the night with me yesterday, feeling very down, feeling suicidal. And I woke up this morning, he was in a mess, I tried to calm him down. I hugged him and said that I was there for him. He grabbed, he, he shrugged me off. Can you, can you just bear with me a second, don't tell me any more, okay? You're telling me he is definitely dead. I'm tell, yes, I'm telling you he's definitely dead. Sarah, me a second. 
Right, OK, Lewis, I need you to just take me back through that again. So what happened last night? OK. He came to stay with me because he was feeling down. I tried What's his name? Brett. B-R-E-C-K. Bednar. B-E-D-N-E-R. Sorry, uh, B-R-E-C-K. Brett. Yes. And then his surname is? Bednar. B-E-D-N-E-R. OK, so he came to stay with you. Look, I can explain this to the officers when they I, I will just, I need to take these initial I, details. I know, I know. I, he came to stay with me the night. I did my best to comfort him. I woke up this morning. He was in a mess. I tried again. Right, just slow down again, Lewis. I need to take these details. So did you have an argument with him last night? No, we were fine. You were fighting? No, no, we were fine. We were fine last night. We both went to sleep. I said that we were fine. OK, but wh wh why did he come to stay with you? Because he was fed up with his home life. Right, because he was fed up with his home he's life. Got, look, he's had a lot of problems. I've known him for a long time. He came to stay with me. I was in Thailand last week on holiday. He was in Spain on right, holiday. Right, OK, OK, both OK. both got back. So, um, you both went to bed, and then what's happened this morning? I woke up. He was just standing up. He was in a mess hands on his face. I got up, I put my arms around him, and I said it was okay. He just shrugged me off and said no. Some, I can't remember exactly what he said. He, he was going on about how he didn't want to go home. He was fed up with his life, and he, he didn't want to go. Right, and okay. He... I have a pen knife on the side of... Sorry, in my room, adjacent to my bed, I have... Water, a chest of drawers after shaving the TV and stuff on there. I had a pen knife on there, folded. He picked it up, opened it, and then lost control. I slow down. Let me just let me just take those details here. Pen knife on the bedside table. Brett grabbed this. Yes. What in order to harm himself? No, in order to harm me. He opened it and right, then lost okay. control. To harm and opened it. Um, states he lost control. I, yep. in self-defense, put my left arm up to block him from stabbing me, effectively. We struggled. I got him to the ground. He got up. I got the knife. Okay. Can, okay. You, can you not interrupt me with this part? Okay, go on. Okay. This is being recorded anyway, isn't it? Yep. I grabbed the knife and I stabbed him once in the back of the neck, I believe somewhere near the brain stem. He turned around, tried to carry it on, and I, I, I think I stumbled on my chest of drawers. I fell over, I got back up, backed away, and then I, I don't remember exactly what happened, but the fight ended with me cutting his throat. I believe I turned around and I slashed his throat. Right, he okay. fell. He fell face first on my bed. I tried to stop the bleeding. Yep. He fell onto the floor. Yep. I couldn't stop it. His throat was properly cut. And he's still on the floor. Yes. He fell onto the bed face first. I was tr I was trying to compress the wound right, at okay. that time. And L Lewis, are off. you still in the room where Breck is? No. Where are you? Look, this... Don't... OK, don't interrupt me. Just let me explain this. This is being recorded. I didn't know what to do. I felt like... Right, is, is the, the house where you are is where you are and where Breck is, yeah? yeah? I but felt, you're you're in another room, are you? Yes, I felt like taking my own life. I, I I don't remember what happened after that. All I know is I dropped the knife in my hallway. I stripped down and just sat in the shower. Right, you've left the weapon in the hallway. Yes. And have spent how long sitting in the shower? I, I, I don't know. Look, are, the, are the police on their way? I can hear something. They are, they are. Okay, I'm um, going to go and do my part. Please, thank you for your help. Right, just listen.
911, what's the address of your emergency? What's going on? What's going on? I think I got gunshots fired at 4365 um, Rose Garden. I think I just heard three shots. Possible warrant at the address. Hello? And I heard him say, call the police, and I'm not hearing anything else.